Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video of our DBT series, we are going to see how we can implement custom test cases for our DBT model. Now, till now we have seen how we can utilize packages like DBT utils, DBT expectations and perform tests in our DBT models and how we can implement basic test cases as well like not null constraints and unique constraints. Now, you can come up and say that, okay, I want to do a test which is not available in any of the packages. Now, how do I implement that? So for that, we actually write custom test cases. Now, uh, before proceeding, I do recommend all of you guys to connect with me on LinkedIn and as well as to subscribe to my channel. So let's move ahead. I will actually go back to the uh, project itself where we have been learning all our dbt content so here when we created the dbt project itself we got a folder called as test what we can do here is to implement our custom test cases we can directly go here create a new file we can say custom underscore test underscore case and then i can say dot sql right and remember that what exactly happens in the test cases so whenever I write, I write any test case, wherever I call any particular package and I try to implement any test case, what happens in dbt? dbt tries to create a SQL statement, a negative SQL statement for your test case. And if it gets a count of records, then in that case, it means that your test case has failed. That is what it exactly does. So essentially, let's say you have said that the order ID should not be null. And in that case, what dbt will do? dbt will go ahead write a sql statement that select like basically it will count the number of records where order id is null and if the count is greater than one then in that case your dbt test case has failed so similarly whatever is your test case you write you need to write a negative sql statement for it over here in the tests folder so here is one of the uh, sql statement for the test case that we are going to run today so the first line config severity is one this we have seen in our previous videos as well here we are just defining the severity level that in case our test case fails that okay give me a warning or you can put here the error as well as per your choice we have also done it in the dbt project.yaml file over here now uh, it is at the project level but if you want to give it the test case level you can give it here as well in this particular template now here what I'm saying here I'm trying to join my products table with the order items table so you can see order details. I'm trying to join my products table with the order detail using the product ID. So it has product ID in common and then I'm saying that my product ID in both the table should not be is null and my retail price is less than or equal to 2. Now what does this mean? This means that if my product i like my test case is actually that my product id should not be null right when i'm joining these two particular tables the product id should not be null and my retail price should be greater than two so here i have written a completely negative statement to my test case and i want to run it right so the moment i want to the moment and and here i'm giving reference to my models right that i have created so i'm using this ref so this we have seen even in our previous video that we use it for the model reference so whenever you are trying to refer a model then in that case you use this ref right so now if i am writing this it is going to refer to these two particular models it is trying to run this in the big query it is trying to run this it will run the sql statement in the big query and if it gets the output if it get the output rows greater than one then in that case it is actually going to give me error so now to run this i can simply you know write my dbt command to run this model let's say order items the when i'm running this model right now all my test cases that we have been doing as part of our previous videos will actually run and you can actually see the moment i ran this what actually happened so you can actually see that it has passed and it has given me warning for what it has passed my previous test case and then here it has given me warning that warning in one test case custom test case right and it has also compiled the code so it has also compiled the code so let me see the compiled code okay so the moment we go to the compiled code so this is the compiled code that it has created which is nothing but the custom test case dot sql and this is our compiled code which will actually give you 
uh, now let, let me try to run this in the BigQuery, right? So it, if I run it in the BigQuery, it should actually give me rows in the output. And that is why my, you know, the test case has also failed. It has failed and it has given me the warning. So the, when I'm running the same SQL statement, you can see what has happened. I'm getting number of rows in my output where product ID is null and the retail price is actually greater than two. So this is exactly how, uh, okay, I'm getting multiple retail prices. So basically uh, I'm getting retail prices less than two as uh, less than two. And the, since the product ID is null over here, and so it is giving me the retail prices as well. So both these two conditions are actually getting satisfied and I have multiple rows coming in my output. So this is how exactly you do the test cases or you implement custom test cases in DBT. So I hope you like this particular video and you will also try out all of these videos in your own uh, you know, machines and you are actually going to type all this code on your own so that you become very friendly with the DBT projects. So thank you so much for being till here and do remember to like, share and subscribe to my channel.